Hello! Welcome back to my channel, PTL Empowerment. And I'm encouraging you to subscribe if you have not done it as yet. How are you doing? I know it's been a while, but I'm back. I'm back to all my faithful listeners. Those of you who faithfully tune in every time I upload a video. How are you doing? I want to know how you're doing. I truly want to know what you're doing, how you're doing. So respond in the comments, okay? Down below, just respond in the comments. So tell me, how are you producing? What are you producing? How is your life transforming? And how is your leadership abilities? How are you leading? Who are you leading? And are they benefiting from your leadership? That's all in producing, transforming, and leading. Yes, I am doing absolutely awesome. Had some projects that I had to attend to. And I was quite busy. But I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. And anytime I get downloads from my connection above, you know, I'm going to bring it to you. I'm going to send it your way. And this... Today, I want to talk about connection causing progressions. And I'll say it again. Connections causing progressions. And we know that we have to be careful the connections that we have in our lives. Because they would either cause us to progress or unfortunately, they can cause us to regress. They could cause us to be dormant. We don't want that. We don't want to deal with that. We want to deal with the connections that would cause us to progress. The connections that would cause us to be the best that we can be. The progressions that would, the connections that would pull stuff that is laying dormant out of us and cause us to recognize that there is a giftings and there are abilities and that we can do it. Those are the kind of connections that we want in our lives. So if those are not the connections that you have and the connections that you have may be with people who don't care much for you. Um, they're not looking out, you know, for your best interests. They're not motivating you and encouraging you to move forward and go all out. And, you know, to tap into your giftings. You need to get rid of those connections. Those are bad connections. You know, when we have a bad connection in service, bad connection in the internet, what happens? We, our calls are dropped. Um, we, lost, we lose communication. And all kinds of things that we don't want to happen and with bad connections, poor connections happening. So check your connections and see how they are benefiting you. And also see if you as a connection is benefiting someone else. All right. And if you know that you need to uh, graduate in that area and do some work in that area, come on, get with it. You need to do it. But this morning, as I was taking my normal routine walking exercise, I saw some um, birds hovering over a particular part of the ocean. And immediately it came to me, that's where the fish are. And so said, one of them just dived down and scooped up a fish in his mouth and went his way, went its way. And then another one came and did absolutely the same thing. Scooped down, got the fish, and went its way. And you may ask, how does those birds know that fish is in that particular um, area? But it's, it's just something within them. It's just an, a, an ability that they have that they were created with to be able to, to sense and to know that their food, that their prayer is in the location that it is. And 
I, I want to suggest to you that your connection with God would cause you to locate things that is necessary for your life. That is necessary for the season of your life. That is necessary for your growth and your progression. We may think that we always have to be looking for people to connect with. But beloved, the greatest connection that you could ever want is being connected to the higher being. The almighty God, the king of kings and the Lord of lords. That's the connection that you want. And when you are connected to the spirit of God in that way, every other viable connection is automatically magnified to you. You're like the magnet that draws it. But if we go and we look for those, those horizontal connections, many times they, we don't get what we want. Many times they're not good for us. Many times they cause us to regress. So our eyes, we need to ensure that our eyes are in the right place. That our mind is in the right place. Because when we are connected to the most high God, he said he calls all things to work together for our good. He said no good thing will we he withhold for them that are walking uprightly. For them that are walking in connection. In divine connection with the king of kings and the Lord of lords. When you are in that right standing with him. He calls you like the bird. That knew exactly where his prayer was. That knew exactly where to go. That's what God would do. He would send you to the right people. He would download to you the right ideas. Their creativity would come forth that you didn't even know that you had. Stuff would begin to come to you that would leave you in awe. But you must be vertically, vertically connected in the right way with God. He is the Lordship. He is the head. He's the one who leads. And trust me, when he leads, he leads the best way. He's the best leader that we can want. He's the one who gives us the stability. He's the one who causes us to stand after we've done all, after we've, we've fought up, after we've tried to think, oh, it's going to work out. After, And then we finally realize, hey, why am I getting so worked up? Why am I, why am I so frustrated? Why am I allowing this thing to worry me? We go back to the connection. And the peace comes. The revelation knowledge comes. The wisdom comes. The understanding comes. You see, beloved, we only can get there when we are in right standing, right connection. Hence, with the right connection, there's nothing left but for us to progress. There's nothing less than for us to move forward. There's nothing less left than for us to advance. So, check your connections. Check who you're talking to. Check who you're hanging with. Check who your allegiance is to. Check who is head over you. 
because it's important that we have the right connection. Because if I go and I plug my USB plug into a normal 120 volt plug, this would never receive power and work to my device. I have to plug it into a USB. I cannot take this cable and plug it into a 110 volt, a 220 volt, or no other source. It has to have the right connection or it's of no use. What am I saying? Our connection is important. But the main connection is Jesus Christ. If you don't have him in your life, you can accept him right now. Just by simply saying, Lord, come into my heart. Be my personal Lord and Savior. I give you my all. And that's as easy as it is. And if you have him in your life, but you find that you are still not getting the victory. Go to him. Surrender. There may be something that you're doing that you need to let go of and surrender to him. He's the one with all the answers. He's the one with all the wisdom. He knows the plans that he has for you and there are good plans. He knows what your next Thursday is going to be like. He knows what your 2023 is going to be like. He has all the blueprints. So why not connect to the true vine? Why not connect to the one who gives us all the nourishments that we could ever need for our growth and for our success? The right connection brings you into progression so beloved be encouraged and get into the right connections god bless you reminding you to subscribe press that notification link so that every time i upload a video it will come straight to your device you will get the notification of it and be encouraged. Share your comments with me. Connect with me if you choose to. I would be delighted for you to connect. God bless you and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.